So tools like Notebook LM make learning ridiculously fast. Something that used to take me hours to figure out, I can now understand it in minutes. And with Google's new update, there's a really interesting way that you can use these features for digital product workflows. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works step by step if you're a complete beginner that's looking to get started. And I'm not gonna waste any time, I'm gonna jump straight into Notebook LM and if you wanna be able to find it, you just go over to notebooklm.com. Now the reason why I really like this Google AI product is because it's completely free to use. And again, it's a AI tool that's gonna to be able to help you understand anything. If you wanna get a basic understanding of what this AI tool is capable of doing, it's able to help you learn any topic out there in a matter of minutes. If you wanna be able to learn how to you know, build a digital product, if you wanna be able to learn how to use AI, you're gonna be able to use it in a specific way as long as you know how it works and you know how to set it up in the best possible way depending on what you're trying to use it for. But of course, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I would personally use it if I wanted to get a better understanding of a particular digital product I was thinking about making, which in this case is going to be an ebook. So I'm gonna come back to Notebook LM in a moment because the way that it works is that you need to give it a source reference for it to refer to. So when you do get to this page, what you need to do is make sure that you're logged into your Gmail email address. Once you've done that, you're gonna be able to gain access to it for free. So just click on this button. And it's gonna be on this page where you're gonna be able to now add your sources. So as we can see, you can either add a PDF document, you can add any of these different file types. As you can see, I'm not gonna read all of them out. You can also connect your Google Workspace or Google Drive. It also gives you the capability of adding a link from a website or a YouTube channel, or what you can do is paste text. Now, when it comes to the different ways that you can use sources and also discovering sources, there's so many new features, but I've got another video coming out real soon when it comes to everything you need to know about this aspect. But in today's video, I'm gonna be focusing primarily on using the paste text option in this particular video. So what we're gonna do is just click into this. And what you're going to need to do once you get to this point, if you're following along, and you're someone that wants to understand everything that is about a digital product that you're thinking about making, is that you need to go over to this quiz that you can see on the screen. Now, this is a quiz that I built myself and I'm gonna leave it linked down below. Again, completely free, you don't need to pay anything. It's gonna take you through seven different questions and at the end of it, you're gonna get a custom prompt or a custom code that you're going to copy and paste directly into your notebook LM. And stick with me because everything I'm going to show you is going to be mind blowing and and you're definitely going to be blown away. So we're gonna go through this quickly together. Let's start off with one of the first questions. What type of digital product are you most interested in creating? So as I said in the intro, we're gonna go with ebook today, but there's all of these different options. We've got digital planner, we've got AI powered educational guide, which I'm going to be using in the next video. We've got video course, we've got so many different options. But let's stick with ebook today, just to keep it simple, click on next. What is your skill level? I'm gonna say beginner. Why do you wanna make a digital product? I'm gonna go with this option. What type of niche do you have knowledge in? So we've got all of these different categories, as you can see, we've got business, we've got self-improvement, we've got health and fitness, but I'm gonna go with one that many people don't really talk about on the internet, but it's a popular niche, which is accounting and bookkeeping. So let's go with this and then click on next. For question five, I'm gonna say that I want to build my own website. Color scheme, I'm gonna go with this option. I'm going through all of these different questions really quick, guys. How do you plan to promote this product? I'm gonna say that I wanna do it through email marketing and I'm just gonna click on submit. Okay, great. So it's gonna be with this code, this prompt, whatever you wanna call it, all of this text that you're going to copy just like this all the way to the bottom. You don't need to read it at this point in time. You can do so if you want. But you're just gonna copy it, go back over to Notebook LM, make sure that you're on this screen and just paste all of the text in there just like that. And what's going to happen is that essentially Notebook LM is going to know everything about the digital product that you're thinking about making. And this actually brings me on to a lot of the new features within Notebook LM. It's gonna help you understand what you need to do a lot quicker than if you were to search through the entire internet because on the right-hand side, you're gonna see this section that says studio. 
And as we can see within this studio section, based on all of the answers that you selected in that quiz, you're gonna be able to get an audio overview. And this is really powerful because you can have a conversation with it and I'm gonna show you it in a moment. You can also generate a mini course as well. The reason why this mini course is really beneficial is because it's gonna be unique to the type of digital product that you're thinking about making. So it's not gonna be a generic one, it's gonna be specific to your answers once again. There's also reports that you can generate, infographics, slide decks, quizzes, and many other things. But I'm gonna try my best to show you as many different features in this video as we move forward. So one of the first initial things that I would advise that you do before we do anything else is just come over here and then type in next. And what it should do is now come back with a summary of all of the different answers that you selected in the quiz. So in my case, it's saying that the product type is gonna be an ebook, the niche is going to be accounting and bookkeeping, so that's correct. The skill level, beginner, not necessarily the case, but that's what I selected in the quiz for the sake of this example and all of the other answers that I selected. So if everything is correct, what you're now going to do is just come down here and click on next once again. And what it's then gonna do is come back with all of these different titles for all of these different eBooks that relate to the topic. So I can pick one of them. I'm just gonna go with a random one. Let's go with the first one in the list. So I'm just gonna paste it in there, let it know that this is the one that I'm going with and I'm gonna click on next. Okay, so one of the next things is that it's gonna give me a prompt and a link for me to go through, for me to actually make the digital product. So what I can now do is just copy the prompt and then click into this link. And it's now gonna take me over to this AI tool. So what I can now do is click on generate. I can click on document, paste the prompt in there just like this, and then click on generate outline. And then from there, it's now going to give me the fully written ebook. And guys, I'm only showing you all of this as a basic example, just so that you understand exactly what goes into this entire notebook LM workflow. But once you've completed that step for whatever digital product that you're making, you can now go back over to Notebook LM and tell it that you've done so by simply typing in next. And things don't just end there because it's also able to give you a direct link for you to be able to get a site built as well. So all of the links are gonna be within Notebook LM, which is super helpful. But if I just click into this link and also copy this prompt, I'm now gonna be able to paste the prompt in there just like this, enter the brand name for what I'm working with. So this is just an example. And then from there, I can now click on create a website. And bear in mind for those of you that might be wondering, this platform that I'm using is obviously Hostinger. And this is the Hostinger AI website builder. So this is definitely one of the best solutions when it comes to being able to sell a digital product because it's completely customizable. You're going to be able to make any changes to it. You're going to be able to adjust it in whatever way that you want. So for example, if I just click on continue, it's just giving me the first draft of the website. Bear in mind, guys, we're just going through all of these different steps. And at the end, I'm just going to show you how Notebook LM has improved its features when it comes to helping you with every single step that you're seeing me go through. So if I just come over here to edit website, this is the site that it was able to build for me. So it's done a fairly good job. Of course, there's gonna be some changes that I need to make. And what I'm gonna do is just click on edit section over here and I'm going to update this main video to an image. So I'm just gonna select that. And then I'm gonna change it to something relevant. So I'm just going to click on free images. And I'm just gonna type in accounting over here. And all of these are copyright free images, by the way, guys. So let's select a random one just so that you guys get the gist of what I'm doing. Let's go with this. Okay, so that seems a lot more better than before. So this is the rest of the website. I'm just going to update the currency. So I'm gonna click on store. I'm gonna come over here to settings. And this is basically what I go through every single time that I build a new website for any digital product that I'm thinking about making available in a new niche. So if I just come over here to currency, I'm just gonna update this to USD and I'm gonna click on save. And if I also come over here to products, it's over here where I'm now gonna be able to remove all of these different placeholder products. And I'm now gonna be able to add the product that I was able to make with the help of Notebook LM by clicking on digital product and just completing all of these different steps. And with the ebook that you just saw me make with Notebook LM, it's also given me a prompt that I can copy and paste directly into Nano Banana Pro. So if I just copy this prompt just like this and go over to Gemini, 
If you didn't know, Nano Banana Pro is now out. You know, this is their latest version and it's able to make high quality images for whatever purpose. But in this case, I'm going to be using it for this ebook that I've just made. So I'm just going to click on create image. I'm going to paste the prompt that I got from Notebook LM in there just like this. And then I'm going to read it over, make sure that everything is perfect. And I'm going to simply click on submit. And literally just like this, as you can see, it's now come back with this main cover image. This is something I've shown previously on my channel before, but it's able to do a much better job in terms of the text. Everything is correct, but this video is not about Nano Banana. I just thought I would show you this. So what I can now do is download the high quality image by clicking on this button right here. And then what I can do and what you can do if you're following along is go back over to Hostinger, click on this button, and then I'm just going to select it just like that. And as we can see, Hostinger is now getting all of the details from the image so that it can populate it in the necessary fields. And as you can see, Hostinger has been able to populate and insert all of the information taken directly from the image. So I didn't need to write any of this. I'm also going to be able to update the section over here. So let's just change this to that. And it's going to be in this section where I'm going to drag and drop the PDF file that I was able to get from Gamma earlier. So I'm just going to do that as well. And just like that, as we can see, if I just scroll down over here, everything has now been done accurately. And this is the page that people are going to see if they wanted to check out this ebook. So everything looks perfect. Everything has been done accurately. And I would say everything looks professional. And all of this was done with the help of going through Notebook LM step by step. And of course, if I also wanted to get information when it comes to email marketing, I could just click on next. And this is going to be one of the next sections that is going to come back with. Oh, and before I forget, if you wanted to check out Holstinger, all of the information should be directly in Notebook LM. If not, you're going to be able to find it as well as a discount directly in my description down below. But moving on to one of the main things that I wanted to show you in today's video when it comes to the new features of Notebook LM, which is the studio section right here. To be honest, everything I'm about to show you is something I've not seen any other AI tool able to do. So I'm going to select a few of these different options. We're going to go with the audio overview. So I'm just going to select it like that. And what's going to happen is that you should see it start to load down here. It's going to take some time. It may take 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on what you're working with. So just be patient and let it load. But I'm going to select this one. I'm also going to select a video overview. So I'm going to click on the pencil icon and I'm just going to say that I want it to create a five minute mini course. So just like that. And that's also going to take maybe 10, 15 minutes. I'm also going to create a infographic. So we're going to select this one and I'm going to say that I want the infographic to be standard. You can make it detailed, but I want this video to be simple and I'm just going to enter create a five minute mini course once again and those are the main things that i'm going to do in today's video and i want to walk you through because i believe that there's some of the most interesting ones so i'm going to wait for it to load it's going to take some time but as soon as it's done i'm going to be back asap and i'm going to show you the results okay guys so i'm back and it seems to have completed exactly what i wanted it to do so I'm going to click into one of them. Let's start off with the mini video course that it was able to make. Once again, the reason why this is powerful is because it's customized based on the answers that you selected in the quiz. So when it comes to learning anything under the sun, you can do the exact same process for you to get the information, but I'm not going to do too much talking. Let me just click on play just so that you know what type of video you can go away and make yourself. All right, have you ever thought about creating your own digital product, but got totally stuck on where to even begin? Well, in the next five minutes, we're doing a full mini course. I'm gonna give you a complete AI-powered blueprint to take you from just an idea all the way to your very first sale. Okay, so here's the game plan. We'll start with your custom blueprint, then walk through four key phases, validating, creating, branding, and promoting. Then we'll wrap it all up with a final launch checklist that puts it all together. Let's do this. Now, to make this super practical, we're not just going to talk in theories, no. We are going to follow a custom plan that was generated for a hypothetical person, an accountant who's a total beginner and wants to sell their very first ebook. So yeah, guys, that is part of the video. Of course, it goes on, it goes into detail, it 
goes through every single step. I'm not going to play everything because we're going to be here much longer than what we need to be. But you can see that the quality is really good. The AI generated voice is really good. And it has a full understanding of exactly what I wanted to talk about. And this is something that I use for so many different things. I'm able to learn things instantly because I don't need to pay for an expensive course. I don't need to pay a mentor when it comes to finding out basic information. I'm able to get an AI video for me to watch over and over again and if you're able to pair this with let's say the infographic that it was able to make let me just click into it the reason why something like this could be helpful for anyone out there that is thinking about making a digital product is because you can print this stick it on your wall and you're going to have a step-by-step -step blueprint for you to follow and the reason why this new feature is amazing is because there may be some slight mistakes when it comes to the text but for the most part the spelling, the structure, and just the general visuals of it are going to be accurate and it's just going to give you clarity once again. But this now brings me on to the main feature that I want to show you that I was truly blown away by, which is the audio feature. Now, when you see this, you'd probably think that it's going to be a standard audio overview of the digital product that you're trying to get information on, but that isn't the case. With this one, you can also have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with it. So if I just come over here, this is what the screen's going to look like. And I'm just going to click on play and show you exactly what's going on. It's going to sound like a podcast with two different hosts, but I'm just going to increase the volume and hopefully you're going to be able to hear it. Welcome back to the deep dive. Today, we are uh, tearing apart the playbook for a digital entrepreneurship but not by reading some self-help book. No, not at all. We are looking at the direct output of an AI business advisor. Exactly. We're diving headfirst into a comprehensive AI-generated blueprint that's designed to take someone from, you know, zero to a fully launched digital product. That's right. And this isn't just theoretical advice, right? This is a direct step-by-step -step action plan. So yeah, that's the basic gist of how it sounds. But what I'm going to do now is try and show you how you can have a conversation with it, ask questions, and it's going to be able to tell you what you need to know based on the answers in the quiz and the source reference. So if I just come over here, the audio may not sound as clear as what you just heard now because I'm going to be doing it through the mic. So I'm going to click on play audio. The perfect how-to guide. And it was generated for a very... And then what I'm going to do is click on join. Oh, hey, welcome. What's up? Hey, so I want to find out a basic question based on this ebook that I'm thinking about making. Can a ebook about accounting and bookkeeping sell well? That is a fantastic question. And a really important one. You're asking, is the niche itself viable? Exactly. When you look at the source material, the AI thinks it is. It does. The blueprints specifically define the niche as accounting and bookkeeping. And the main goal for this user was to generate income. So the system is already betting on its profitability. Right, because the key here is not the topic itself. Okay, let's unpack this. It's the angle you take, and that's exactly why the blueprint starts with strategy. We'll talk about this more in phase three. And yeah, guys, that's basically how it works. And that's something that you can do again and again. You can ask it multiple different questions. You can ask it clarifying questions. You can use these two different AI hosts as a way for you to kind of bounce ideas off of when it comes to whatever you're trying to do. But yeah, guys, those are some of the main features that I wanted to show you in today's video. I've got many other videos coming out real soon when it comes to other ways that you can use Notebook LM to help you in the realm of digital products. So if you wanna watch those videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss them. Drop a like on this video so I know what type of content you guys wanna see. And if you wanted to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, well, in this video, I'm going to break down some other interesting ways that you can use Notebook LM as well as Google's AI tools to help you, generally speaking, to make things a lot more efficient. You're going to be able to watch that by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this because that video has already helped out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, it's also going to help you out as well. But other than that, guys, I'm going to catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.